talking to Jake Aldrich, whose new single, Partners in Crime, released 17th of April. And I started by asking how his career has developed to date. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, my father passed away when I was um, 11 years old. And the years after that, I was always looking for a way to express myself and get my emotions out there. And that's how I got into music, really, and how I began writing lyrics um, and everything kind of transpired from there. Originally, I was very much into hip hop music and R&B and, and those type of genres. And uh, I've been into that my whole career, really. And up until this point now, I'm actually leaving the hip hop behind and heading over to experiment with country pop music, which is a genre that I'm really, really inspired by right now. On the, on your sort of your original roots, you've had quite a bit of success, haven't you? Awards and um, music played on television and things like that. That's right. Yeah. Um, I won the uh, Audience Choice Award at the 2017 NMG Awards and I won uh, Male Act of the Year at the 2018 uh, International Achievers Awards. So, yeah, it's been going well with the, the hip hop stuff. Um, I just feel like I took it to as far as I felt I could have taken it without just creating the same kind of style and the same kind of songs, if you know what I mean. So in recent times i'm i'm not overly inspired by a lot of the new hip-hop music that's coming out these days it's changed so much over the years and i've actually started to listen to country music after hearing nelly funnily enough collaborate with florida georgia line and uh, i heard their song cruise and i kind of felt like well, maybe i can incorporate this country sound into what i'm doing and that's slowly what i, what I began to do I, only now i'm completely leaving the rap behind and, and going for a kind of full pelt is there a story behind this new single? Well, the new single Partners in Crime come about because um, I, I guess myself and my partner, we're always kind of egging each other on to do kind of silly things and to, you know, be a little bit outrageous and, and stuff like that. We, we dare each other to do certain stuff. And um, it, that's kind of where the, the concept came from for the Partners in Crime theme. It was just kind of a, a way to kind of express the sort of cheekiness and the fun that we kind of have together. And uh, I think that came across quite well in the song. And how long is it taking to put together? How, how do you work? Do you start with lyrics and then get the tune or how, how does it work when you're putting a song together? Well, I'm fortunate enough to work with um, several different producers from all over the world and um, they create the music for me. I might perhaps contact the producer and say, look, this is the kind of sound I'm looking for. And maybe send them some reference tracks and kind of say, you know, this is the sound I want to do moving forward. And then from there, they'll send me the instrumentation for the song and I'll say, you know, yes, I like it. No, I don't like it. I'd like to change this. I'd like to change that. They come up with the, the, the sound that we're looking for and then I write the song to that piece of music. Um, what what are your hopes for the song? What do you hope it will achieve? Well, it's, it's a difficult one because obviously I'm switching genres completely, and I think coming from the from the rap scene, it's it is very very different. And you've also got to imagine that I've been able to develop a, a good following from the rap stuff, having done it for sort of ten plus years, you know. Yeah. So I just hope that people embrace the transition. And that is kind of goes down well, really. You know, I'm, I'm already humbled to have had some reviews from country radio and, and country music blogs and stuff like that, which is kind of really cool when you think about it. it's such a leap in, in genres. They're not genres yeah. that are close together in any way. So yeah. I'm kind of just keeping my feet on the ground, to be honest with you, and I'm hoping that it is kind of embraced by fans of that genre and of that sound and also the, the fans that I've developed over the years. And presumably it's available from all the usual download outlets. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be on Spotify, uh, Apple Music. Um, people can pre-order it right now from iTunes as well. Obviously, Deezer and, and all the, the digital stores. So very excited for people to, to, to get hold of it on Friday. Well, thanks very much for telling us about it. And uh, I wish you all the best with it. Yeah, thanks ever so much for having me on and appreciate all of your support. Mm -hmm.